Hello everybody, uh, we're just going to have a sit and talk today about Oblivion mods because there's been Oblivion theme on my channel over the next couple of weeks hopefully I'm going to be talking about things, doing um, yeah, doing some characters and whatnot. I made some footage of the playthrough and some of the video footage came out well some of it seems to have no sound for some reason but anyway, yeah uh, I think, I mean, the Oblivion um, videos have been doing quite well considering, I mean, I don't get a lot of views on my channel these days, but the power level one's got 46, which for me is good these days, I used to get thousands, not anymore, um, and, the, and the Skyrim, you know, No Man's Sky videos, they're doing remarkably well, and just so you know, uh, I did a playthrough where, uh, not playthrough, I did a, a video where I set, uh, established a settlement. But I was coughing all the way through it, so I just gave up on that video. I will eventually go back to it, right, and I'll film it and, well, video it, and I'll put it up there as probably Sky, is it No Man's Sky 8? And you'll be able to look at it then, right? Because I'm going to do these major steps in the game right, all the way through to the end for, for No Man's Sky, I think, because I do like it. I've already played through it all the way, so I know what's coming. But yeah, you know, that's coming. But Oblivion, I mean, the power leveling was doing all right. I mean, I've been looking at, I mean, do you recommend when you get trying to build your channel, you look at your rivals and just see how they do it and just copy their style until you figure it out. So I figured that's what I'd do, you know, do something along them lines. And um, that means a few more things for Oblivion and Skyrim and Fallout and things like that, just to build things up a little bit. And um, it means I get to enjoy the games as well whilst I'm filming it, don't I, and have a bit of a laugh. Uh, Troubles with me, I tend to get focused in a game and I'm like this. Oh, yeah, I've got a camera on me. Yeah, I've got to shoot him, all right, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make good entertainment. I know it doesn't. But if I look down the list here, some of the older videos I've done have done remarkably well. Um, they, they didn't at first. I think it kind of creeps up. It's something. It's like sci-fi on telly. You don't get a massive hit initially. But over time, it gets that way. Anyway... Mod DB. Um, I, d I honestly don't read the comments on this as often as I should, and I probably have to, I should start. But let's just click on the Giscard's Oblivion Mod 2020. That's when I repackaged things. Now there is going to be a video at some point of the recommended you know mods from this package that I recommend you install. Um, because not all of the uh, e it ESPs should be enabled some of them are very very uh what's the word for it let's just call it expert level or immersion you know level stuff which may take away things like fast travel <laughs> you know if you want to do the old um morrowind way or skyrim about fast travel so you might not want to enable everything i certainly don't enable everything and some of the spell ones you know there's immersive spells you know, it's all right at first, but it's like having a ringtone. After a while, you get sick of it. <laughs> so, you, like I said, you might not want to immerse or immer enable every single one, but I'll do a video about that in the future. Anyway, it says, um, let's have a look at the comments if I can find them. Could just go back a few. There we go. Right there. We got a few from um, earlier this year, which I completely missed, and one from last year. We got Inderil, uh, this is Inderil the Neververse is on our channel, and he looks like he plays Quake as well. He says, thank you for doing this, much appreciated uh, Inderil, that says I like the comments. Um, and then we've got Jan, Jose, Lopez, Lopez, a, a, B, B, I can't pronounce the name, sorry, Joanne or Janu. Um, years pass and sometimes I remember Master Giscard and his great ideas and wonder if he's okay. Um, says I miss him. Says hope you're well. Says from my side, friend and master. Cheers. Master. I am the master now. <laughs> I appreciate that, Daniel, to be honest. I do. Right. Um, I still got the ideas. I'm just applying it to different things now. Right now, I'm applying my ideas on a professional level to my work. And um, I'm the new guy in the job, and I'm wondering why the old guys don't notice some of the things I've noticed. Uh, but I'm slowly bringing them around. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it says, um, yeah, it says, it's good to hear from fans, it is. It's been a long time, and to be honest, I do like modding, and I do like gaming. 
but I think all the trouble in the past put me off, right? Because, I mean, we, we, let's face it, anybody that plays the Elder Scrolls knows what a childish bunch of tits some of the fans can be, right? They really need to go back to school. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got a really itchy throat. I've got a cold. This is why I haven't done any videos this week, because... I planned on making some fancy ones, but when I tried um, doing like the settlements, I was coughing all the way through it, you know, for No Man's Sky. I'm only just scraping through on this video now without coughing everywhere. Anyway, it says, um, yeah, you go back to school, you know, grow up, you know, wait till your balls drop, you know, because it, it's what it is. It's childish nonsense. We see it with uh, Starfield already. Oh my god, panic! Starfield's not out, so let's just make some scary stories about it. Well, let's not. Uh, let's not. Let's not make any scary stories about a game we haven't seen yet, right? Because some people out there said, oh yeah, what's his face? You know, lies all the time about his game. He can't be trusted. And then players are doing it. <coughs> Pardon me. Players are doing it on videos and stuff like that. I mean, why? It's, it's hits, isn't it? It's just to get... Get a video popular so you can make a bit of money off of it. But let's not do that. Let's just wait to see if Star feels any good or not. I'm expecting it to be along the lines of Fallout in the fact it's a bit generic in a lot of places. With lots of options for customization because that's the path Bethesda's been on. And whilst we're on that topic of the path Bethesda's been on, the character screens that we saw in Oblivion haven't been in Skyrim and haven't been in Fallout. Skyrim and Fallout have been very generic, you know, they're kind of like classless and as a consequence you don't get that same immersion in your character. You just feel you've got a nod, in, nod of a hood, he's a mage, nod of a bow, he's a stealthy archer. You know, that's the only thing you tend to you tend to get from them games, where Oblivion, you definitely got an idea that you were a mage, you were a thief, you were an assassin. There was that definite feeling and it made the game a bit better, I think. Now, um... I've been watching some videos because they said, um, you know, if you want to improve your channel, you need to look at your rivals and learn from them and copy from them. And then um, once you figure it out and you've got into the routine, you can make your own style. So I'm going to try that. I am going to try that. Oh, I've got some time off now. Hopefully I get to explore the topic a little bit and do some decent stuff. And I am planning on doing some um, videos for Oblivion and characters and things like that, you know. And I've noticed a lot of the videos are about cheating, using glitches to get infinite gold and stuff like that, and transmutating iron into gold, and you go here, there, and everywhere to get it. Unless that's Skyrim, I think. It's Skyrim, isn't it? Right, but um, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, if you cheat in a game, you tend to ruin the game for yourself. And I don't want the game to be ruined for anybody, so we'll do it properly. I am a master at making characters. If you look at some of my saves, I do tend to go for the female characters when I'm being anything other than a full-on um, knight or barbarian, right? And I don't know why, I just I just like going the female route for the softer characters and the man manly route for the harder characters. It just feels better for me. Anyway, a stealthy actor, for instance, is usually female for me. <coughs> Pardon me. But um, do some videos on them. I think that'd be a good idea. Um, definitely doing some videos on the Oblivion mods and which in the ESPs to enable disable because, like I said, they're not always. Uh, it's not always wise to enable every single one of them. They are very specific, and uh, I think to be honest, a lot of the mods are is quite well. And I would really like to go back and do some improvements to the voice work, especially in Kavach. Of actually aftermath, uh, I especially want to go and change some of the voice work in there. My own voice work, to be honest, because it's horrible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I don't know how many uh, downloads this has got since I uploaded it a couple of years ago because it's an old mod, um, and I can't really see. Mod DB is a bit confusing in a sense. Uh, Yeah, mm. anyway, it's uh, but anyway, the oh, maybe I'll click on that. Will that work? No, it doesn't. Of course, it does. Oh, well, it hasn't had that many downloads. 
It said uh, 714, so they used to get millions of downloads back in the day. Millions, not anymore though, because it's an old, old, old mod. People don't know about it anymore. I say mod, it's an old, old, old collection of mods. The 2020 release, by the way, removed all the buggy, horrible ones that shouldn't be used anymore and left in there the ones that do work. So you should be fairly safe. You will find Sheer Gaurus, you know, one is uh, not in there, you know, because the Accords of Madness had some serious issues and they came to light years later, so I removed that one. Which is a shame, because I like that one, but that happens sometimes. That does happen sometimes. Uh, at the video footage I filmed of me playing through the Oblivion plot is with all these mods installed. And it does crash a bit now, you know, a bit, I say, but it's, it's not uncommon, but it's not common either. It never used to, so I'm thinking it's, the game has become less stable over the years, even though I'm using exactly the same mod list as I've always used. So, yeah, let's not pretend, you know, that it's perfect now, because it, it, there's really issues there, I think. Um, but, yes, yeah, uh, to be honest... I was actually thinking of redoing all the videos or some videos for it because I mean these videos were filmed how long ago? well let's say 2010 right it was the last one for uh, for Oblivion say right it wasn't but let's say it was that was 12 years ago and video quality has improved dramatically you go back to the old videos now they look quite ancient and I've got a massive monitor now I mean, I'll give you an example, right? I say massive. It's what I've got for working and when I'm doing mods. I wanted to I wanted the space on a single monitor to do everything. I'm just gonna hold the can of Pepsi up so you see scale, right? That's it. That's my monitor, right? Scale of it all. So you can see uh I've got my work environment done in my my uh, screen ready to do the work because I can because Windows 11 has this thing where you can assign half the screen for one tool, half the other, and you can do it just by using this uh, the one of the gadgets in the corner of the windows. It makes organising the desktop a lot easier, a lot easier. It's one of the best aspects of Windows 11. But anyway, is, um, I'm looking forward to being able to have um, the screens open in various areas in an organised manner because it was always chaos. And I'm one of those people when I'm making mods. I've got lots of windows open all over the place. And, you know, you can even get multiple screens, you know, <coughs> multiple desktops still. But it will be really nice to have the, have the space on the desktop to do the work. So we'll get, we'll get, but if I video it actually, you'll be able to see me making some of these mods and see how it's done, you know, how I'm actually making the mod that you will eventually play. So yeah, it'll be um, it'll be good. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? I am I am in currently in the process of thinking: is it worth me making mods, and will I want to mod Starfield? Because I've got to want to mod it. If I feel the game's good as it is, I might not. Right? If I feel it's lacking something, then whatever it's lacking will loop out at me as needing fixed, and that's when I start modding. It's always been what got me to mod the game is when I felt it needed something badly. Fallout 4 was one of those games where I would have liked to have made a quest mod for it, but I hated the dialogue system, and I thought, oh, I'm not using that. I'm going to be doing hundreds of lines of dialogue on a system I hate, and uh, I decided just not to do it. I haven't made a single mod for Fallout 4, but that was why. Anyway, says, um, I think, you know, the, the decent self monitor means it's going to be really, really nice for making mods and things like that. It's, it's going to allow me to organise things and see whole lists. I mean, when you've got a smaller monitor and you've got to scroll down the list of items to find things to put in the world, oh. I mean, it's not good. It really isn't good. Right? So, but things are coming together now anyway. The flat's got to cap it down. You know, the things I said, you know, I've got to cap it down there. I've got um, my cooker in there. And I've been making pancakes and Yorkshire puddings and stuff. So my life's coming back together again. And I'm starting to get the things I need, like hard drives to store video footage on and things like that. These are all on the list of things I need. A couple of lights up here instead of the light down here. You know, and uh, 
you know, better video footage, better cameras. These are all on the cards now. These are things I can actually go out and do. And I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. I am. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I mean, so it's, you kind of fine tune it as you go. You understand? You, you kind of, um, you don't just say, I'm doing this, and then you never change your path. You say, I want to do this, and you have all these grand ideas. And over time, you find tuning into something that works for me and the channel. And that's what we're doing. You know, this new technologies and stuff, you know, and videos. Which I don't know if you've noticed, but some of my videos have been in 4K recently. That's because of what I'm recording on now. That's just my mobile phone. I mean, I've got cameras. I've got yeah, webcams. I've got a Canon camera somewhere, but I'm using my mobile phone to film this. Because it does a really good job. Um, but I will be replacing it. So, you know, um, it'd be something where I get a permanent setup with a camera probably up here somewhere. You know, and, um, and lights around it and maybe a backdrop that looks a little bit better. I'm already starting to replace the furniture. I've got something in mind for the backdrop. It was a kind of like a table with um, units so yeah, I can put bits on because I like to be organised. I haven't got a lot of room now these days. Like I used to have more room than I've got now, but not anymore. Relationship breakdowns, you know what it's like. Anyway, get some stuff on here. Fill it with stuff that I use. Camera here, you can see me, you can see the background. It makes it more interesting, doesn't it? You know, because you can say, oh, look at that, he's got that game. Oh, look at that, he's got that model. Oh, look at that, he's doing that. Oh, he's read that book. You know, it just makes it interesting to look at the screen instead of seeing white walls. I don't know about you, but when I'm looking at people talking like this, I do tend to enjoy to see what else they're doing in the background. A lot of these videos have a load of things in the background that are just posy. I'm more of a practical guy, right? I like my motorbikes. Maybe you can tell by the, cam uh, the calendar in the back. Which should be changing, actually. Because <laughs> uh, it's still on September. But... You know, I like these things, I like Royal Enfields and things like that. There's all kinds of stuff I could stick in there that would make these videos a little bit deeper, a little bit more interesting for the viewer. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this sit and talk, right? There's tons of stuff I want to do. Uh, when this cough goes off, hopefully the next couple of days, I will get on with doing it. Um, in the meantime, I might do a No Man's Sky video without a narration, so I'm not coughing all over the video. Or maybe I'll do a push to talk system. That might be better, I think, don't you? Right, anyhow, see you later and enjoy your gaming.